Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to Stationers No Mining Challenge. Last time, we worked on this a little bit, and today we are going to finish it off. But first, between episodes, I've done some mods. We have shoots. The second sheet is a corner and not the freaking window. That mod is available on, on my Sting Workshop page. As is the mod that I shut off last time I finished it. We can now look at slots. Plant, growth, health, all that stuff. Should help some things. Okay. Now, we left off and there's, we left off, we built that thing up there and we built all this stuff. And there's a few things that I realized that I forgot. First, the water. We're just going to use a canister right now. That'll last a really long time. And we'll throw down a radiator. Just so it'll heat back up. It'll be fine. Additionally, we need a sacker or output line. Otherwise, our little winning machine down there is going to fill up really fast. So let's do a little bit here. Um... I don't think you put these back to back or put machines back to back. I think they're like pipes. Pretty sure they are. So we're going to have something that's a little ugly looking, but it'll have to do. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Might be the shoots getting in the way. It might be. Yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so that'll allow us to wire that up pretty easily. And then we'll just have to loop around. Not terrible. So that's that part. Then let's grab. Uh, we don't have any wires over here. Orange wires with the orange line. Stupid thing. Okay, just hook this up really quick. And we'll set you to like, just anything above 20 is fine. Okay, over here, we're going to do some little stuff over here. Hmm... I'm going to move this up. And add in a heater. That'll be... Airtime critical. I think that has to be there. I think we can do something like this. And then... Do, 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 do. If this go down... That... 
can go either this way. Again, adjust this. Come inside. Oxygen critical. And I'm about to suffocate. Low pressure. And then we will just straighten these out. Remove this curve that was here. Make it look a little bit neater. And I think that'll work. Now then, we've got to do some programming. Uh, it's not going to be very hard. Uh, let's see. The, uh, the greenhouse program is probably the second easiest type of program behind the hard suit program that you'll have to do. Because these aren't super complicated. We're going to add a few other things though. The reason why we have the heater and the gas sensor. So let me type up the devices and the registers and I will be right back. Alright, we've got sensors, heater, cooler, our armature, occupied, seating, temperature, pressure, and CO2. We have hashes for the hydroponic device and for the Harvey. There are two Harveys, two variants of Harveys, and each have a different hash. You want to make sure, look at the prefab hash, and make sure you pick the right one. We look. There's only one now. There used to be two. I'm pretty sure there's still two. Yeah, see. There's this one. Or maybe there's only one now. I don't know. We'll check. Let's see. No, there's still two. Oh yeah. This one. Has a different hash. If you're using this one, you can't. Can't use that hash. You have to use the other one. He used to show up in the search. But you're probably going to use this one anyway. This is the most common one. Okay. That was a bit of a side. Now we want to find other things. It's a mess. Okay. We're going to define... Um... Say min water, yep, and that'll be in Kelvin, which I think it's five degrees. It might be higher, but I think it's five, so that's three seven no two seventy eight point five point five. Then we will define um. Mean atmosphere temp, which is going to be 30 degrees. That'll be 303. And define max atmosphere temp, which will be 313 or 40 degrees. Assuming I'm doing my math right, which, you know, doing that on camera is never a good idea. And the maximum atmospheric temperature will also be the maximum water temperature, so we don't need to double that. And then we will define the maximum pressure. And that's going to be, I guess, 150 kilopascals. And we will also define... Min CO2, and that's going to be, I don't know, 
We'll try 1%. And let's define in water pressure. And this is just showing to be one kilopascal. Okay. Yay. And let me type units here and I'll be right back. And that all nice and lined up. Now we're going to have a main loop. Just call this main. The first thing we're going to do is check the pressure, temperature, and all that stuff. So we're going to call this, let's say, first, we'll actually turn off all the Harveys. Just to save that. Batch Harveys on to zero. That'll just be the first thing. And then let's maybe. No, I don't think we'll put a weight there. We'll put a yield here, though, maybe. Just to, you know, keep things not going super fast. Then we'll have a jump. Hmm. <clears throat> maybe a JL. A jump and return to. Let's call it check environment. I'll just go check in and then we'll add this somewhere down here and we're going to read the water stuff and the air stuff so first we want to read the air because if the water is too cold or too hot it's relying on the air to increase the pressure or adjust the temperature since we're using radiator so we need to check the air before we check the water so load sensor. This will be our pressure. And we'll do our temp too. Just do the same thing. With the temperature. And I always spell this wrong. Every single time. Okay. Now, if pressure is too low, so let's say branch. Actually, first, we're going to push RA under the stack. So that we're saving it. That way we can jump back and forth. Now then, if the pressure is too low, let's say branch. Actually, if the pressure is too high. Maybe. Let's see, greater than. Hmm, I'm not sure. Because if... It actually, we may only want to worry about the, uh, the minimum pressure. Or the minimum CO2. Let me think about this for a moment. Okay, we've got pressure, temperature, and the ratio of carbon dioxide. We branch if the pressure is too low, we branch to pressurize. If the carbon dioxide is too low, we branch to pressurize because we're both going to have, we're just going to have carbon dioxide flowing into the room. I don't have it set up yet, and we probably aren't going to set it up anytime soon. So, Pressurize is just a stub. It jumps to wait and reset, which sleeps for 30 seconds, moves zero to the stack point of resetting the stack, and jumps back to main. Then 
you have the temperature. If the atmospheric temperature is less than the minimum, we go to heat. If it's greater than, we go to cool. We only want, or we should only have to do either heating or cooling. And since the heater doesn't need any pipes, we're going to focus on that. What I'm planning on doing eventually is just have the uh, the carbon dioxide and water coming in a little bit cooler, and that'll do the whole cooling part. And that way we should only need to heat and shouldn't need to heat very much. It'll be a little bit of a balancing act, but if we get it just right, it'll save us a lot of power. Now then, for the heating and cooling, they're going to be pretty much the same. We'll do heating first. So, branch if device is not set. The heater. And back to, uh, um, back to main or just back to RA. Think back to RA. And we'll make these ALs. Yeah, I think that's right. Then we will set the heater on to R0. And then we need to set R0. Which is going to be up uh, here. Then we'll do a set. This is less than. We're basically going to do the same exact thing that we did here. Except for we change this to a set. And this is to R0. Okay, that's wrong. So R0 will be 1 if this is too cold, and we'll turn on the heater, and then we will sleep for like, I don't know, a second. Maybe 3 seconds? 3 seconds sounds good. And then we'll jump to heat and we need a, uh, an escape clause so let's branch here no we'll do it here branch if our temp is greater than this And all right. So we'll return to up here if the temperature is in the right range. And let me do the same exact thing for heating, except for obviously going in the other, other direction. Or for cooling, I mean. Okay, cooling is the exact same, just, you know, reversed. Then back up here, we're loading the pressure and the temperature from our trays. So, pressure, temperature, both those, which will be the water pressure and temperature. And then, if the pressure is too low, or the temperature's out of the range, we just gotta wait and reset. Because there's really nothing that this script can do about that, other than wait. We just won't, don't want it to plant if the water is not in the right range. So it's just, this is just what all that does is keep it from planting. Because water is going to be coming from outside and the temperature is just going to be handled by the atmosphere cooling. Like the radiator over there. So it just, it just has to wait until it fixes itself. Now then, 
right here after this returns it'll pop ra if it makes it to here then everything's fine in the environment and then it jumps back to up here let me go get some air now we need to see if the harveys need to plant so we will branch no first we will load batch are occupied Trace. Occupied. Minimum. So if any tray does not have a, or isn't occupied, doesn't have a seed in it. And that's actually, we need to use the, the new command from more IC commands, which is load slot batch. That'll be a R type slot, which is zero. Slot zero is the plant. Slot one is fertilizer. Okay, now then are occupied. Now we want to branch if this is zero equals zero. And we want to AL on that because we want to return. And we will go plant. And then we'll just come down here and define a plant thing. So we load if it's occupied, the minimum. And if it equals zero, our smooth AL, we go to plant. Down here, we turn the Harvey's on because we turned them off all the way up there to save power. We sleep for a second to give them a chance to turn on. We could get away with just a yield, but I'm going to give it a whole second just to make sure. Then we plant. That batch Harvey's plant one. And then we go to wait and reset, which gives the arm time to actually plant before we jump back to main. And in case there's some issues with planting, which sometimes happens, there might not be a seed there or some other things. It can be a little bit glitchy with Harvey's. And now then we're going to do the same thing, but with seeding. Guess that is the next stage. That didn't work. I have no idea what happened there. I think I just tried to paste the whole thing in that line. Okay, so we'll go our seating. And again, we want the minimum. But we're not comparing this to zero. We are saying equals one. And we'll go to uh, seeing there. Because if we look at these, city is negative one. If there's no seed, even if you have a plant in here, it's still negative one. It's zero if you collected the seeds. At least I think so. And one if it had seeds. So we want to compare that to one. And then seeding is going to be basically the same thing as plant, or very similar. I renamed it to harvest instead of seeding. So we turn the Harvey's on, we sleep for a second, and we harvest instead of plant. And then we wait, give it 30 seconds for things to like move through the shoots and all that stuff, the arms to move, etc. etc. Then let's do the exact same thing with mature. And 
mature has the same range, it's negative one. If it isn't mature, and one if it is. Then we will just sleep for say 10 seconds and or let's go for 30 seconds. Jump to main. And that's basically it. Pretty sure that's everything we need. We still have plenty of lines that we could add more stuff in. Eventually we'll move the environment stuff probably to its own script and it'll be even more compact. Maybe, maybe not. We'll still probably have checks just so that it doesn't plant when it's, you know, full and stuff. So now we can finish building. We set the screws, which I'll do off camera. Okay, so we need to do the lights. That is the next thing. We're going to take the green and it needs to come around and go into the lights. Actually, we'll probably run it around this way and have it go into the lights that way or maybe across the floor down here or something like that but I'm pretty sure it needs to go somewhere let's say we'll split one of you so that we have a red color and then we're just going to spray paint the whole stack green let's go outside We already have this green coming over here. So we'll just continue this. Eventually this is going to be separated because we want power coming from the same circuit that the elevator is going to be on. And these are going to be in the way, so we'll need to figure out how we're going to get away with that. Bring down, I guess. should work because there's nothing there. Nope, maybe not. Well, anyway, we're going to run the power around and then we need to figure out the spacing for the light. I think it's two on either side, but it might be like three on one side and two on the other. I'm not 100% certain. Now we're going to... Try it with three and see if that'll work. I'll manually plant these, but first I need to pressurize this room. That means we need to get some more air in here. And we'll just suck all the CO2 out from underneath us and pop it into this room with an air filter from an atmospheric kit. Atmospheric kit. Yes. That's what we'll do. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's two on the side with the data, and three on the side with the power. That means the other one can go. Variable lighting and variable lighting lined up right here. And then one, two, three, one, two. This will be lined up there. And that should cover all those. Okay, now that we need to get some seeds in here, and I brought a stacker. So I'll just hook that up somehow. Yeah, something like this. And also, since we have the stacker over here, which we're going to paint orange. And yeah, I'll leave that one. The normal color. Since we have the stacker here, we want this to be full stacks. So we have to wait till we get a full, a full 20. Until we can do all these, we're just going to do Ten 
10 of them. That way, it'll be a full stack every harvest. Which means we need to cut the wire here too. But I'll do that after we do this stacker thing. Yeah, I think I can fix that. And I'll set this to one, yes, okay. And then I'll run the seats in and everything. And I've done this like that, which should be hidden by the ceiling. But that should take care of that. And I still have to uh, pressurize this area. Shut this off. And be right back. All right, let's see if this works. The temperature is just below what we want. So that should turn on this. And I've forgotten to set the screws. All right, let's try this again. I turn on the heater. Heating up the room pretty quickly. Might be a better idea to have the sensor in a different grid than the heater. Okay, that turned on everybody and planted. Now that everybody's happy. Plants are all growing. Notice that the model in the uh, hydroponic tray is different than the hydroponic device. It's kind of weird, isn't it? The ones in the devices are a little bit bigger. All right, that shut everybody off. Because it did the whole waiting thing. And I'm going to throw down a flare since we know the heating works. Though I did notice that there might be a problem. Oh, it's flashing. Line 30. What is line 30? Load slot batch, armature, seating. Oh, whoops. It's mature. Minimum. All right, now what I was saying is there might be a problem if it gets stuck heating or pressurizing the room while, 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 while the pressure is out of range. The pressure of water or temperature is out of range. Because we still want to harvest seeds when that happens. So what we're going to do is... We will move the plant check down here. So let's try that out. So we've moved the check environment to the bottom and we've moved the seating check down here at in the check environment. Now we're going to change how we're going to check the temperatures. Because we don't want them to get stuck, we just want them to bypass the planting if it's um, out of range. So, this part we can keep, and this part we can keep. But, pressurize can also be kept, and heat and cool is the only thing we need to change. Because those actually get stuck in the loop. So we're actually going to simplify these a little bit. Okay, what we've done is we've mo removed cool and heat down here and gone up here. So we're using the set less than, so sets are zero to one if we're below the minimum temperature. And we branch relative if the device is not set. So we skip this line if the device is not set. And it sets the heater to R0, and we do the same thing for the cooler. So hopefully that'll work. And I've got to go get some air. 
and I've gone to get some food, and we don't have any food at all. We are completely out of food. Uh, we have a mushroom. I guess I can eat that. That is not a lot of food. I hope that this works, or we're going to be in trouble. Okay, let's go... Let's go back up there, and see if this actually runs correctly. Okay, it should be seating now. Assuming this is working. We'll just have a little smiley face. It must not have been planted. They're not all going. A little strange. Alright, there's the other one. Alright, there's the one. And then let's see if this next one goes. Which should be in 30 seconds. Two, three, four. Okay, there they go. Alright, so the seating part works. Let's check. Device configuration. And there should be seating is zero. That's, that's what we wanted. Okay, so these should shut off for the moment. There they go. And now we need to wait for them to finish. Do not know. Why this did not fill up. I do know that why this one didn't fill up because it doesn't have any um, seeds in it. Because we don't only have nine. So let me go grab some more seeds and stick them in there. And now for the harvest. Just shut off, so it's already harvest one. Should turn right back on in a second. Go. Now wait for this to turn off, and then I'm going to mainly put a seed in here if I can't. Oh, it already has one, so that's good. It doesn't need to be to do anything. Wait for that to finish. A little warm in here. I think I might have overdone it with the flares. I might have to cool this somehow. I can pump in, I have some CO2 canisters, so I'll just throw those in here. You should be about ready. I forget how long it's going to wait. 30 seconds or longer. This is where we're checking. Okay, there it goes. Never went out planted this time. You're happy, you're happy, you're happy. You're in there. Everybody's green. Okay, good. Now then, since we didn't have a full stack because for some reason there wasn't a seed in one of these, we need to go clear the stacker. My silo seems to be bugged for some reason. I can't get any seats out. I 
I'm turning that on. That's a problem. Can I even reach that? Fourteen. Right, that should be all of them. And I still have not turned on the thing over here. But it already has pumpkins in it. So that should be good. But I still need to turn it on. Because there's one more thing we need to do. And that is make it so that all the trades go into this machine and not that one over there. Which we have guys trading. So I'm going to wait for a trader to show up and be right back after I turn that on. Now we have a trader and pumpkins. What we're going to do is we're going to rename this. Now theoretically, these should go in alphabetical order. So we just add a space that should make this the most highest priority thing. Maybe I should go the other way. Okay, it does make it ahead of that. At least it looks like it. Vending machine and vending machine. Yes. That is what it looks like. Okay. Now let's see if this works. We're going to buy, oh, this is, we'll buy the water. That won't explode. Confirm. And it went in the right thing. Okay, ooh, that was close. Okay. Right, one more thing before we leave. Yes, we need some food. We have our pumpkins in there. And over the past few whatevers, we've traded for a pants packing machine and an automated oven. Now, if you don't know, picking stuff in an automated oven ensures that they will not rot. Nothing ever rots when it gets in an oven, but you can't get it back out. You get reagents out, which does not count. Which you can't um, centrifuge down to get any pumpkins back. It's just reagents. I'm not sure if you can smelt them or anything. Maybe. Maybe not. So we're just going to throw these down somewhere over here. Where we're not doing anything right now. We'll probably have to re remove them soonish. But I don't care. That just did some weird things. Okay, you can go. Let's put the oven first. That makes the most sense. I hate how our guy is always huffing and puffing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to remove these soon. Because they're all in the way. Okay, and we'll need a shoot. Let's finish these all first. Okay. Welding. Our cheats. I think these take less than the normal applicators. I hope so. Driver. Driver. Okay. 
Nobody's expecting. I guess they do take more or less than I even thought. Um. Yes. Let's see. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We only have orange ones. The other ones are upstairs. I think. I think they're upstairs. Unless I use them all. Hopefully we can get this done before we die. Come on, come on. There we are. Pumpkins, pumpkins. Okay, good. Did I mention that my silo was bugged? I can't get the seeds out. I can't even deconstruct it. Some weird stuff's going on there. All right, we want the shoot junction. That is. We need to get this, um, not the seeds, but the cans in there. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that one's done. Then let's fire this up really quick. Right, they're on, they're on. Food, food, food. And you can do it. We have another trader. We will take all of our pumpkins. Which is apparently only two stacks. Check that to make sure it's working. I think we should have three stacks. You're here. Then you gonna make some pumpkins. Processing. Let's go back up here and check. Having a narrow ledge with such a low rust jetpack is not working out that well. And yeah, they are growing. It looks like it. Oh. They're still getting seeds. Okay. Fine, fine. Let me make sure that's not backed up or anything. You look fine. You don't have any seeds inside of you. You shouldn't. Right, there you go. Okay, that's all good. Now then, can we get some food? Some can. Is that powdered eggs? Can what? Pumpkin soup. Okay, looks like we're going to live. And I can finish the rest of this off camera. Next episode, I'm not sure yet. We'll do something. But that is it for this episode. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.